So hello everyone, I'm Melanie Coombs and I am the producer of Mary and Max, uh, the animated feature film that's screening around the country at the moment. Um, winning the Oscar was genuinely a kind of um, completely bizarre experience and um, uh, it's, um, you know, with short films, um, it's, it's genuinely, you don't have a campaign or anything like that, it just genuinely is that um, you have to have won a prize at some festival um, to be eligible and then you kind of just get into the race and um, it was genuinely um, a kind of shocking experience literally going up to the stage it was sort of um, I've been hit by a car and that's the closest thing in my life that it was like um, and it was a really strange time for me because my mum was also dying at the same time so I had this really strong feeling that we would actually win so I kept freaking Adam out by going I think we're going to win and he would go crazy woman, what are you saying? I was like, no, I think we're going to win. Because um, I just had this really strong conviction. Because um, I think sometimes that's how life is. The most amazing things and the most awful things happen at the same time. Um, but the great thing was that um, my mum was alive to get to hold the Oscar. So, um, you know, that was pretty amazing. And she was, needless to say, incredibly proud. So that was really amazing. The thing about producing is um, that it's actually it's one of those jobs no one really understands what you do um, and having done it for 15 years now um, I think that the best description I've ever had is that actually what producers do is that they will projects into being so a writer might write something and a director might have a kind of plan for how it will happen but it's actually the producer who brings everyone together and actually makes sure it happens and there is this kind of um, ability to inspire everyone and keep everyone energised and focused and, and really wanting to do the project um, and that kind of willing it into being is kind of um, the best description I have. And, and how do you become a producer? Um, you basically put your hand up um, on one level because it's not, um, it's not a job where you get the glory or a lot of attention um, or things like that, but it's incredibly um, rewarding. Um, so you find people who you think are inspiring, um, you bring people together, you teach them how to work together, and then you basically spend your job kind of persuading people that this idea, for example, an animated film about two pen friends who never meet, is a great idea. And they should give you $8 million to make it. Easy. Um, when you're first starting out um, as an animator or a short filmmaker, um, one of the hardest things to know is how do you, how do you actually um, go from kind of doing it in your bedroom to doing it on a kind of larger scale. And one of the most important things is to find fellow travellers. So um, to find, you know, um, if you're a good writer but not a great director, or if you're a great animator but not a great writer, or you need a producer, to actually build a little team of people. Because the thing about filmmaking is it's not a solo activity. And you do need sort of just, um, even just kind of, you know, partners to walk down um, hand in hand with because it's um, it's a difficult process but also in the way films get made no one wants to be the first person to say yes to you ever they'd like to be about third or fourth usually and so you need to find a couple of people who really believe in the, the together as a little team you're working together and then you start to find out wherever you live whether it's in Australia or here you find out what are the opportunities in your area, whether it's through um, a local community um, centre where people you know, want to muck around with video cameras or whether it's um, you know, the local funding agency who have like a new initiative for making animated films or short films or whatever. You need to kind of keep your eyes out for those kinds of opportunities. And my biggest hot tip ever is whenever a new scheme starts, apply. For some reason, no one applies for that first round, so it's much less competitive than the next one. Never wait for the next one. Whenever there's a new scheme, apply straight away. That's my hot tip. One of the most important things as um, filmmakers who want to tell stories that actually represent um, local culture um, is, is um, government agencies, you know, and I think that this can't be um, overstated. Um, particularly if you speak English and you're not American, um, uh, we, don't, we don't have a kind of natural audience um, because we're so overwhelmed by American product. And in Australia, we're overwhelmed by American and UK product. So we have this, we, the, 
if we want to hear our own accents, if we want to hear our own identities reflected on a screen, screen agencies are so absolutely crucial. And in a way, um, and people in the film business don't like to use these analogies, but I think sometimes they're important. Sometimes we actually have to go, you know what, we are like opera, right? We do, yes, it's, maybe it's indulgent, right? Maybe it's not for all people. Maybe most people will go and watch CSI, whatever. But if we want to have our own culture and we want to maintain it, we do need these agencies and it's really important that when people are successful that they also remember that this agency funded that short of mine and this one funded that one and this one and that one and those agencies give everyone the opportunity and they give a lot of people the opportunity to try and be filmmakers and decide they don't want to be filmmakers and that's also fine. But if we want to hear our own accents, whether you're from Yorkshire or from Creef or from Melbourne, like I am, if we want to hear our accents and they're not American because we speak English, we don't have a, a, a natural home language to protect ourselves, we absolutely need our local screen agencies and I think they're absolutely crucial.